you've made me breakfast in bed again. You made it yesterday as well. This is like our American tradition. Um, scrambled eggs and lots of bacon. And that is how I'm going to start my day. It is Tuesday and I think our plan of attack today is to um, visit the Tix booth to see what deals there are on for shows and perhaps visit the Miracle Mile at Planet Hollywood. Wow, my eyes look tiny. I've been up since four o'clock. It's crazy. Um, it kind of felt like we went to bed late last night. No, we didn't. We went to bed at like 10. It felt like we went by like a late night and then got up like midday. But in actual fact, I got up at four o'clock in the morning, Vegas time. It is now eight o'clock and we are going to try and get to the Tix booth for half past nine. I've got a feeling that if we do get to see a show today, I'm going to be absolutely dying by that point. I'm kind of hoping to come back from an afternoon nap because the jet lag... I'm just not quite in the right time zone yet. But, um, yeah, breakfast in bed definitely helps. And then we're going to pop out and see what we can see. what Ross is but we're interested because it's dressed for less. We might have to go and see the Park Drop Cafe up there and lots of other stuff. Here we are. We're in the dark as much as you are. We have no idea what is at the top of this escalator. But it doesn't smell very nice. It smells like... Everywhere smells like drains, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of drains going in Vegas. It's not great. A lot of homeless people in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. It's kind of like a TK Maxx. Oh, I got it. Hmm. Couldn't be more pleased that we went in the cheap Ross. What was it? Clothes shop. Ross. Because I got a pair of wedges for $18, and Lee got his very first pair of Converse for $25, which is like the cheapest they were so cheap it was practically free. But I will show you those later. Oh, the sun. It's been pretty cold, but Laura, Laura Little Beauty, told me that it's going to get warm because, of course, I didn't look up the weather for the place that I'm at, but she did. Um, and she told me it's going to get warm in the next couple of days. It's not so bad. Like yesterday, we had to have coats, and today it's not quite coat weather. If you get in the sun, it's good, but it's still a little bit chilly. It's a little bit windy. But um, yeah, Ross was awesome. And now we're on the way to Connect Hall with Miracle Mile. Take it that time. Yes. Yay! Cash out already. 
I'd like my ten dollars back, thank you. One from the uh, slot machines. Cashed him in for the last year. I think you should keep them. Like, just to keep them. <laughs> I'm going to turn this into uh, No money. It's a nothing. <laughs> Something magical is about to happen. There he is. Gambling his $5 chips away. He's going to end up with nothing. Oh, yeah. $80. $80. I had no faith whatsoever. Five minutes work. $80 in five minutes work. You've got to trust me. I don't trust him. $80 from the Bellagio. sure we have it's just whether or not we can actually find the way into the pool it's pretty scary that we're at the top of that tower it goes all the way down there hours maybe but I think my cheeks are a little bit pink so maybe we did um, I think we're gonna go home to the room and um, get changed we intend to go out to the coyote of the bar at New York New York to opposite us but I'd quite like to pop to Planet Hollywood and see the tattoo parlor and tables. yes and Lee wants to go back to the blackjack tables where we already won a lot of money, and I lost like $60 on the slot machines. No more gambling for me. Because you're, you're, too, you're too rash. I'm too rash. I lost $60 in like 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and in like 20 minutes. You've got to play with caution. Or less. Lee won a lot more money than me, but that's fine. I'll leave it to him now. He can win me a lot of money, and I'll just stay away from the slot machines. <laughs> um, but we're going to go get changed and go back out. <laughs> I've got to up to something drinking beer. Um, I'm going to go get changed and go back out and see what we can see. I'd like to go and see how much um, how much the tattoo power is because I'd quite like something whilst we're here. Um, but we'll see. Have a look. Lee is trying something different today. Some, they're not technically skinny jeans, are they? They're like, they're skinny for him. They're skinny for him. A different kind of fit jeans. And Converse. I really like the Converse on you. I think they're kind of like the trainers that you should wear. We'll they're skinny boy trainers. I, give a I think they look really good. Let me get a whole, a full length. I like them. Yeah. Yes. I like them. I think they, they look better with that um, cut of jeans as well. Quite slight. He is quite slight. It's true. This is what I'm wearing. And my awesome new shoes. 
I'm like a little bit in love with these shoes. Yeah? Yes. More than a little bit. Oh yeah. I think They are awesome. Lee found them in my size, but I was gonna buy them in the size bigger because they were amazing. Now we are gonna go to New York, New York. Yep. Which is just a bridge away from MGM, so if it's cold it won't matter. It's a bridge too far. It's not a bridge too far. It's just a bridge away. It's making my ears go funny this lift. Um and yeah, he's gonna play some blackjack, maybe I'm gonna not do anything like that. And we are going to eat a little bit of something. And hopefully the coyote ugly bar's open. I think it's open every day. But hopefully it is. And that's where I'm gonna drink. That is my plan. That's the Excalibur. And this is the New York. We will not be going on the roller coaster, even though they want to. And behind us is the MGM. To the Paris. All kinds of other hotels. And a massive palm tree. We are all about the massive pizza slices. We are in New York, New York. This is the meat lover. We've got two, I'm pretty sure these are just adverts. They're not like, they're entirely to anything special, but um, free entry before nine and two for one on drinks. That'll do us, seeing as that's where we were gonna go anyway. I'll tell you what I do have a problem with the New York, New York, is that it seems to be Pepsi Central. There is no Coca-Cola, and that is a problem. I do not like Pepsi. And there doesn't seem to be any kind of coke. So I think we're going to eat this and then get a proper drink because I would rather have a proper drink than Pepsi. hours um 17 plus hours so it's bedtime um i am going to say as we've been to new york new york you all have to go and tell at style so coy on twitter that she has to come with us to new york in january what other than that it's bedtime and we'll see you tomorrow